Hello everyone, Ted the Old Star Wars Nerd here on EBN TV, where community happens in this week. I'm glad you've come back. We have two more toys to look at. One Star Wars toy and one non-Star Wars toy. Okay, so I pulled this one off the shelf and it was full of things that um, can be considered a different toy. So I figured I might as well make that the second one and you will see anyway. Let's get to it, okay? I have a camera set up in here so I can show it to you as I'm talking. This is my third grade lunchbox. I forget when these were manufactured, but I had this this one. It had to have come out, I guess, between, let's see, first grade I started in 76, 77, I would have started second grade, so third grade I started in 78. So they would have come out before September of 78. So here we have Star Wars lunchbox. Now this thing is beat to hell. I am missing the handle on top. And I'm missing the thermos from the inside, of course. And I remember it, it was a yellow thermos with a blue top, I believe. I think the top is the first thing I cracked and lost. But there's a yellow thermos and it had a picture of, I think it had a picture of that on it, if I remember right. I think I remember if it was R2-D2 and 3PO. But I don't know, I could be misremembering. But anyway, third grade lunchbox, I would sit and just stare at this thing endlessly. And... Um, Oh, here's my favorite picture. This is my favorite one. Look at that. You see that? That show up good? No? That was just an awesome picture. Sitting there and look at that. Yeah, you see rust spots on there. <laughs> Doesn't look too good. But yeah, this thing's um really old. Luke and Leia and Vader. Look, a family portrait. <laughs> of course. And then you got the top, which is... The Battle of the Death Star, I guess you look at it like that. And then of course the bottom. Stormtrooper on a do back. Stormtrooper on a do back. And let's see, what does that say? 1977, 20th Century Fox Corporation. Thermos Division, King Sealy Thermos Company. Woo! But anyway, so there's my third grade lunchbox. Now, first grade I had a a rare Snoopy lunchbox. I found out later it was rare because my brother stole it from, from me and uh, it is now gone. But um, I had a Charlie Brown Snoopy lunchbox. Second grade, I had another Peanuts lunchbox. Third grade, Star Wars. Fourth grade was Muppets. Fifth grade was Empire Strikes Back. And I wish I had that one too, but uh, that's another story about, yeah. Anyway, so here's this, and then inside of it, when I picked this thing back up, I'd forgotten I'd stuffed it full of this old stuff my uh, uh, wife had found for me. It's a bunch of Hot Wheels cars. And I love Hot Wheels cars, and these aren't any of mine from my childhood. Those are long gone. I gave those away and buried them and blew them up with firecrackers and all sorts of stuff long ago. But these, what I do is I tell my wife to go out, and just when she sees Hot Wheel cars to buy them for me as much as she can because i like to take them and refurbish them clean them up repaint them give them to people for special things and i'll show you pictures of some i made for coach and nick at mexican iron man here in a second but i needed a place to put these this is like the first haul i think my wife ever brought home man i needed some place to put them so I'll put them in there of course but these are just old hot wheels and matchbox cars yeah here's a here's a hot wheels i mean nothing spectacular nothing I don't think any of these are rare or anything, but they're just cool. I love Hot Wheels cars and you can paint them up and you can make them be whatever you want to. Like um, this one here. I forgot I had this one. I'll show you this other thing I did. But this would have been a great Mexican Iron Man taco truck. It's even got a guy inside that will sell you tacos. But uh, anyway, I'll show you. I made a different taco truck. I forgot I had this one and I couldn't find it at the time. Oh, this. Some of you might see this. This is a Stomper 4x4. Now you'd take these and uh, let's see, you'd put them in the middle, put it, the uh, gear shifter in the middle and the wheels would roll and you could, you know, just roll it along like a normal car. You put a AA battery in it and you could go low or high and it engages all four wheels and the four wheels have, are made of rubber and it would go over almost anything like it would probably go over all these cars if it worked i put a battery in it before and it don't work i read about that stompers have a thing 
that inside the motor if you put a battery in them and if they've been sitting too long the motor blows up or what it doesn't blow up but it like uh chews up some of the stuff that the side of the motor burns out because it's old and then sitting too long i forget what exactly it was. but anyway stomper four by four these were awesome there were so many four by fours this is back in the day when bigfoot the four by four was so popular and if you don't know about Bigfoot, the 4x4, he's the one that really started the craze of the monster trucks. Go look it up. Check it out. But uh, like I said, yeah, nothing too, too spectacular. Um, yeah, here's a Volkswagen I could probably paint up to look like Herbie. Um, another kind of VW, Herbie-ish, you know. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a truck. And I have tons of them. I've, I've uh, got like seven or eight more boxes outside that I've accumulated that my wife has found for me over the years so anyway let's stop here and i want to show you the ones that i made for coach and nick and iron mexican iron man and sent to him so let me turn this off and step back out of the way okay now here's the ones i made for coach and nick on the left here we have this blue one with the red in front that is one i thought nick might really like it is a single seater little sports car and I thought it was pretty cool. And on the right, I have the Coach and Nick Mobile. It's a double-seater car. On the driver's side is a picture of Coach. On the passenger side is a picture of Nick. On the back is a picture of Echo. And so I made that for them. And in the back is Echo 1 helicopter I made. And I painted it up. It was originally a Spider-Man helicopter. You can see some of the little web featuring around the cockpit. But yeah, I just took it, painted all these up the Echo Base colors, put some stickers on them, and thought they looked pretty cool. And now we have the Mexican Iron Man Lowrider, which is looks really high compared to the van, and the Mexican Iron Man Taco Van. So I made these, I took this Lowrider and just painted it up, put some stickers on it, and customized it to make it look more like Mexican Iron Man. And the van, I got some stickers, found a taco and another sticker and put on here and put M-I-M on the front. And I just thought that looked really cool. And I sent that off to him. So he should have that, I think, by now. But anyway, those are really cool. So I made them for Coach and Nick and Mexican Iron Man. And I've made a few more for other f friends and families over the years. I don't have pictures of them or I'd show them off. Should have taken pictures of them. But anyway, I hope you enjoy that. So that is two toys for this week. All right. Two toys here on EBN TV. I hope you enjoyed that. So, again, come back next week and we'll look at some more, all right? So thanks for checking out me. I am Ted the Old Star Wars Nerd here on EBN TV. Subscribe to the channel. Come back again. We'll see you soon. Thanks.